Hello and welcome to our festive donor update event. My name is Kate Jones, and I am the programming chair here at the Wright Opera House. In the spirit of taking you all behind the scenes, I'd like to give you a little recap of what we've been up to here during the past year, as well as a sneak peek of what's in store, none of which would be possible without your help. Our programming committee, consisting of Executive Director Alisa Preston, Board members Dee Williams, Eliza Wister, and Terry Kaiser, along with Nancy Nixon and local musician C. Hoover of Unumi Wen, considers events in five main categories. Art, movies, theater, education, and music. I'm going to try to run quickly through each of these categories with some of this year's highlights and hopefully make it a little fun. Please don't take me too seriously, but also do. Got it? Cool. I'm sure you saw the latest art exhibition in our lobby as you came in with Ghosts of the San Juans by Larry Meckel. Our art shows don't just rotate quarterly anymore. We will have nine in total by the end of 2020, and we've selected some more out-of-the-box artists this year. Rich Sprankle sold nearly his entire show. Good for you, Rich Sprankle. You go, Rich Sprankle. What used to be almost every Wednesday movies have become a weekly ritual. And in June, with Voyager sponsorship, we added Sunday night movies as well. Guests turned out in record numbers for this year's showings of A Star is Born and Rocket Man. We also held our first annual Oscar party, including a photo op and prizes for top ballot and best costume. But the Oscar went to... Drumroll, please. Charcuterie boards. We are continuing to host many of Upstart's theatrical runs, including the irreverent Fabuloso and smash hit A Midsummer Night's Dream. And of course, let's not forget about the Wright's own annual melodrama, a Wright staple. We doubled the dates for this year's run, and, (laughs) oh look, there's me. I was in it. So if you didn't see it, I'm actually personally offended. Just kidding, but really, I feel bad for you. The only medicine I can prescribe for your FOMO is attending our annual radio show. This year, it will be held in October because, you know, spooky season. Come and join us if you dare. Ah, ah, ah. Our educational program has been well attended with this year's Evenings in History and our presentation of Mine Next Door, a documentary short about the Idorado mine. Our educational content will continue next month, too, with Larry Meckel's Right Ed, a series on evolution. And let's not forget about our Beyond Acting class led by the Wright's own Terry Kaiser. I know what you're thinking. (laughs) Yes, I did take the acting class before being cast in the melodrama. Coincidence? (laughs) This year, the Wright has produced more music than ever before, with a whopping nine in-house concerts. That's in addition to the monthly shows brought to us by Ockpag, who continue to excel in their choices. Some of our favorites have been Taj Weeks in Ottawa, You Knew Me When, Solo Hawk, and... Oh, wait, that's just a clip of me in the melodrama again. How did that get in there? Weird. Oh yeah, and Scott Helmer. We have two Wright-produced concerts coming up in October as well, Stillhouse Junkies on October 11th and Hunter Perrin on October 19th. In the spirit of the new tavern space and annex acquisition, we'd like to renovate our programming calendar too, with new inspired events heading into next year. We'll host our second Gospel Sunday lunch on October 13th with a folk band and lots of food. The gospel lunches are non-denominational and designed to help us invest in our community by bringing us all together. So they'll always be free. I mean, assuming you bring a dish. Isn't that right, Beth? And we're expanding into other areas of programming with a magic show coming up on December 20th and a roaring 20s themed New Year's Eve party to celebrate our tavern space and ring in the new year right. That was right with a W in case you didn't get it. And as the building nears its glorious completion, with huge thanks to Mark, Kit, Julio, Ruben, and all of our wonderful volunteers, we've developed plans to hashtag rent the right for weddings, conventions, private parties, you name it. Let us know if you'd like more info. 
Speaking of hashtags, don't forget to tag us in all of your posts on social media with hashtag last night at the right, hashtag tonight at the right, and hashtag right now. Yeah, we do have a lot of fun here. But in all seriousness, we couldn't accomplish any of this without each of you. So here's a sincere thank you from all of us here at the Wright Opera House to our incredible supporters. And if you have a moment, please fill out one of the programming comment cards on your table. We'd love to hear any of your thoughts, ideas, praise for my performance in the melodrama, criticisms, or anything else you'd like to share, because this is your right, too. There's a box in the back of the theater for you to drop them in once complete. Well, folks, that's my programming update. So raise your glasses to an amazing 2019 at the right, and here's to an even bigger 2020.